Welcome everyone to another video in our Brian Fundamental series, where I try to get better at Brian day by day and bring you along for the ride. Um, today we're going to be working on something I've been kind of dreading, uh, which is going to be close range uh, scrapping, basically. Learning how to scrap in the close range. Now, the reason for doing this is twofold. First of all, uh, when Peter Waimau was giving me coaching at the beginning of the year, he's a great content creator for Tekken 7, by the way, if you didn't know already, uh, go check out his Brian vids and his Tekken other Tekken videos about the system in general, they're still relevant today. So when Peter gave me coaching advice, I keep talking about down four and down back three. But he also gave me advice regarding playing up close, okay? And basically the idea, really, it was kind of, I'm not going to say it was vague, but it was more like you need to figure out how to do it rather than like in the sense that like a lot of players will panic in these ranges if they don't want to be in those ranges, right? You have two types of players. You have the players that when we're playing this down four game, right, they just start like running into our face, right? And they start, and we need to be able to handle that situation because we can freak out as well. And we have the opposite as well, which is when we get into players' faces, they start to freak out. So this is a, this is a skill where we just need more experience playing up close so that we can both defend against it as well as attack into it. And that's what we're going to be trying to work on to work on today because yesterday uh not yesterday uh wednesday so three days ago on that stream toasty a uh, viewer from the stream we played some games together toasty was playing brian as well so we played a brian mirror and toasty had some really really strong close range scrapping with brian that i've never had to play against before i've never had to play against tight cut tight short range offense and that really threw me a four loop and i was just like kind of in awe because like toasty doesn't just play like that toasty does this for a while and then he'll back off play keep out and he plays good keep out as well so it was sort of like not only were we having to navigate the roll switch but we were also just getting crushed in the close range and i think that is where that is where i was kind of inspired i was like it finally makes sense it kind of makes sense where what i'm what i'm missing here I don't think it was it was not simple enough to boil down into a just use this move type of situation, but it was um, stark enough of a contrast to inspire me to figure it out. And so that's what we're we're going to be doing today. I do want to talk about as far as the uh, what's the what's the word as far as the like point of the practice today, right? We are going to try something a little bit different, which is we are not going to. We're not going to recklessly close the range. We are going to try and use the practice that we've had up until this point of playing this sort of game, right? We're going to be okay with doing that. Like, that's fine, and we will sometimes close the range if our instead of doing a down four. So I'll start by saying that in the sense that if our opponent is playing keep out, we're not going to throw the game, essentially, in order to get close to the opponent. Because I think that may not... I think it's still important to keep these muscles um, trained as far as like playing this style of game and it will keep our opponent a little bit more stressed, right? And then once we are in, that's when we're gonna practice. Uh, alternatively, when people get into us, we're not gonna just let them in for free. Like if they're trying to get in, we're still gonna play that neutral game as we start off, but we are going to essentially look for opportunities where either our opponent did manage to get in, so they're in, we're gonna play a close range, or we're going to basically skip a down four so instead of doing this down four we're just gonna run up right like if we think our opponent's gonna chill and we could have done like a hatchet or something we're just gonna run up and we're going to maybe jack so and once we're in that's when the practice will begin so i want to talk about i don't really i don't really have a plan in the sense that i unfortunately cannot just give you this is the game plan because i'm trying things too but i will give you an idea of what i am trying things that I think are good, and we will go from there. The first move that I want to talk about that we don't use a lot because we don't play a lot of close range is Ford 3, okay? Ford 3 is quite good for a few reasons. Um, the tracking on this move is okay. I'll just say that. It's like, it's okay. Um, like, if we do this, see, it kind of it tracks that way. If we do, oops, if we do this, it does not track to that way, right? So the size it's okay tracking it's not great um what you can do instead actually though is you can um in those situations you could consider like kind of realigning right that was a sidewalk i think so maybe a sidestep would be a little bit more uh helpful but you can consider realigning 
which is essentially the way you realign is you essentially just hold forward. It's like you can't you can't hold forward. You have to do a little dash forward. And um, what I kind of do, if you look at my inputs when I do this, is uh, you essentially see myself pre go forward a little bit, hold back so that we don't like get like this type of input right, and and then get it kind of like reset our neutral on our on our inputs so that we can do the actual forward three and we don't get some other input right. So that's the first thing is that Ford 3 can be pretty good, um, especially when we're playing at these ranges. This being zero versus uh, versus like this being plus one or this being uh, even being like plus two in some ranges, which I'm having a very hard time getting it to show you that. Oh my gosh, there it is. Um, it's the very tip range. That can be pretty uh, tricky. And Ford 3, I think, is also kind of a cool situation because we can see what they're doing, but we can also sidestep around a lot of the stuff people do, right? It's sort of like down back 3, I think, in the sense that, like, your opponent can choose to mash. Your opponent can choose to mash with something slow, at which point we get them with these, with jabs, right? Because it's zero. Um, we can even get them with, like, uh, another Ford 3 if they're doing something really slow, right? In addition to that, um... Your opponent can choose to do a fast jab because they're like, "Oh my God, it's uh, it's four three. I'm gonna jab, or I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do punches." And at that point, we can try and walk around them because we're only zero, right? And it's an immediate. What's really cool about this, and what makes it easier to go around it, is that since it's zero on block, it's different than open timing because zero on block kind of sets a start line, right? It says you're zero, but you're both gonna start at this time, and because of that, sidesteps become more effective because if you sidestep at the same time that they're gonna attack. That's the point, right? If you're just a little bit off, sometimes you get clipped. That's a pretty cool um, thing to keep in mind. So the first thing that... That was the first one. Another one that can actually be quite good, depending on the context, can be Mock Kick. Um, Mock Kick has a little bit of a, like, snake around to the left. So you can actually... One of the setups in Tekken 7 was you would essentially... First of all, it catches that sidestep, right? But the second thing being that if you did this move... Notice how you almost notice how we almost move 90 degrees around the character. If you look at the if you look at the background of the uh, Colosseum, you'll notice that we go almost 90 degrees. And so it's got quite a bit of a built-in sidestep. So you can kind of use that to try and like get around people's uh, jabs. I do think just doing a sidestep might be fine too, but it's something to cover like jab or sidestep. So mock kick can be good. Jabs are obviously going to be quite good. Remembering to do our uh, our one two. Our one to one um, mix-ups will be very helpful in this situation. So, basically, not letting them know like what's going to happen here would be very good. But also, similar to our down four, knowing when to back off as well, so that we can catch something. Finally, down back three is going to be very good for high crushing things, and down four two will be pretty good if we're trying. Down four two and down four one will be sort of our pressure tools. Well, down four two could actually be used in both offense and defensively. Just to like, just to try and uh, get them off of their game a little bit. Remember, it's a plus five, right, on hit, so it's actually quite good uh, on its own. But down four one, since it's a fair bit slower, will be a little bit more for our when we're trying to pressure a slower opponent, right? So like, if we now come back, and then finally we have down one for the most aggressive opponents. You have down one. Most of people that are that aggressive will actually like press right after that. So down one. If that hits into wall standing three can be quite reasonable um and then if we just recap everything from like the most panicky to the slowest um which kind of like puts us on that spectrum of most pressy defender to least pressy defender we find ourselves basically going down jab jab down for two now we have down back three because those are, those are all kind of like control the space, right? And then you have forward three, which is where you start getting into your more pressury situations. You have forward three, you have down forward one. And then finally, uh, I would be remiss to say we do have hatchet, right? Hatchet is definitely against the most defensive opponents where you're like, oh, they're going to do something crazy or something. Plus it's a bit of a timing mix up because it's quite a bit slower than the other moves. Um, and that's sort of where I'm at with this. I will point out that orbital in these ranges is more of a hard call out if you're in a situation where you always do this and they always duck sure go ahead and orbital them but at this range orbital loses a lot of its evasive properties this version and this version the up version and the up forward version 
both of them will get floated a lot by moves, by especially jabs. So I want you to be cognizant of that as well. Um, but that's essentially where we're at with this. Um, remember that you can block. Remember that you can sidestep. So sometimes we'll do a move and we'll probably consider sidestepping afterwards. I think 4-3 is probably the best candidate for that because the frames are almost always good. Jab into sidestep is also pretty good because we're going to be plus. Uh, not not the plus eight version even the plus one version on block so that's kind of where my head is at for what we want to try today so with that being said let's go ahead and get started i'm pretty i'm pretty uh wary that we're probably going to lose a lot of games doing this but this is something that we have to learn in the long run so might as well get it out of the way now when we don't have any ranks on the line so wish me luck Hangul, you are finally learning how to do taunt back four consistently. That is awesome. What has worked for you? What's worked for you? And what controller do you use, if you don't mind me asking? Get ready for the next battle. Dragon off. Okay. So two things about Dragon off. First of all, when you sidestep left in the open for his wall running to, that's fine. I think when you're up close, you sidestep right. So that's just something like just kind of a weird quirk. Is this like a... This is Solid Snake with the exclamation mark and everything? That's so cool. This is actually pretty good because being up close to Dragon Off is good. Okay. Oh, wow. Good stuff. See, I tried to do an orbital, orbital there and we got, um... We got, uh, floated. Oh my gosh. Interesting style play. We got him. They're pressing. But see, like, learning how to play up close to that dragon off and not be afraid, right? That's crazy. Okay. They finished their uh, down forward one. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Down two is not bad in this situation. Oh no! You'll notice that they're switching a bit to strings to try and like get us uh, a bit stressed out is the word that I would use. So we're going to just be aware of that's happening. Um, the main thing I want to point out is that these down back threes are really incurring a lot of uh, res not respect. It's not really respect that I would say that it's incurring, but it's uh, essentially they're pressing against it, right? And they're starting to sidestep a lot after our uh, after our moves here. See, they're slowing down. Use our heat. Nice sidestep. And just remembering that we need to. The hardest thing to do here is going to be figuring out that our opponent has stopped mashing and switching back to um, pokes like down forward two that let us play that game a little bit more, like that mind game a little bit more. Also, jabs can be good. Wow, nice block. Nice sidestep. So you notice that they are really trying to let us dictate the pace of the offense. That's actually okay. What we could try doing... Nice. Nice hammer. Down one plus two. Um, what we could try doing is we could try staying closer to the opponent. This is actually a pretty good move to be doing. Wow, these blocks! That was uh, not a punish, but I did try... I did... Uh, what's the word? Um, flow charted a uh, Northern Cross afterwards. 
They're trying to, um, sidestep a lot. Gosh, I hate... Wow, this is crazy. Nice. They're trying to uh, sidestep a lot, but also they are trying to throw in a lot of um, twist ducks and stuff like that. That's all right. Okay, nice throw. Ooh, and that breaks the floor too. Nice. So, like I said, this is hard to do, right? We are... I'm also, like, kind of thinking at a mile a minute, <laughs> trying to figure out what's going to be good. Nice. And they're trying to switch into this sort of uh, interruptive style, right? Like, I think that this is actually pretty good. They're playing in a very... Um, What's the word I would use? It's probably like measured way, where they're trying to just use like jabs and down forward ones and stuff like that to try and just like keep us honest, you know? This person's interrupts are crazy though. We have to finish some strings. I need to stop sidestepping after that move, after 1 plus 2, because they're starting to, to mash. Okay. Nice. But anyway... So finishing your strings can be good. Oh, I actually thought that was going to be a uh, counter hit. That's crazy. Notice how I'm like trying to switch to switch to a style that's like uh, stressful, and basically. Remember to finish your strings when it's like, when it's, when they're pressing, but also remember to just like loop a second one whenever you feel like they're going to do something to, uh, to like challenge it, right? All right. But you'll see that it's, this is a very frantic style of play. At least to me, it feels so fast. This feels so fast to be playing against and to be playing as because I feel like I have to like constantly be like, choose another move to do. Now I think that we can refine this quite a bit. We can refine this with side steps and stuff. So if I did four, three into a side step, for example, and I was thinking to myself, this dragon off likes to challenge with down forward one, I'm going to side step to the left. Um, I think we could have done that as well, and I think that's something that we need to work on. But even just starting with, I'm going to forward three, and you're going to press down forward one, so I'm going to jab, which is faster, is a good starting point. And that's where we're going to have to start, because I can't even do that yet. Raylo, how's it going? Good morning. Get ready for the next battle. Hey, it's the same opponent. Okay. Looks like we're the only two on the ladder today. Jab, and just let them do their thing. I tried. That was the idea, right? So now that we build a little bit of distance, it's actually a good time to uh, let those orbitals rip. Nice sidestep. Holy crap. See, they've got a pretty good idea of this whole, like, I'm going to do a move here. Ooh, 
that's kind of crazy. Alright. Just kind of like bum rushing in is fine. Oh, you got a tournament? Good luck. Oh, right. That's a, that's a different move. I've been trying to uh, duck that the whole time. Oh, nice. I tried to sidestep the wrong way. That's all right. Not much to say there, except we happen to get that quarter circle back, one uh, counter hit, and then won the 50-50. Uh, and now... Now we're essentially, like, using our down forward ones because they're playing so passively, right? So we're just kind of, like... Throwing in these down for ones, essentially doing what they are to a degree, like trying not to commit too hard into it, right? And then what what's the point of not finishing the down for one? It's so that you can get that uh low poke if they're still if they're never gonna press, right? I know he likes to press against this string, so we should be okay with finishing it a bit. Oh no. Nice, that's really good. They like to press there, not press there, hold, hold there. So we can knock that out. All right, Raylo, we'll get, just get some coffee, take a nap if you need to, and hopefully you do well at the tournament. They're still pressing there. So we'll use that move a bit more. Nice. And it's okay to run through our wall offense because this kind of plays hand in hand with a uh, with a uh, close close game, so that's all right. Okay, press. Nice side step. You see how he does down forward one four, and then sometimes he'll just do side step into down forward two. That's really good. Oh, I didn't break that one. That's too bad. Oh no! We're just gonna pop our heat here and then back off. We'll do one of these. Nice. Okay. Backing off with a little bit of a, uh, what's the word? I think it's okay to back off after heat because your opponent expects you sometimes to push your frames. Um, but to a degree, like that was a little bit more of like something we are comfortable with, right? It was like coming in from the, from the long range. But I think that was a good start because you'll notice that we had at least a few situations where we'd do a jab or a forward three and we'd sidestep and we, they would jab and we would get around it, right? I think getting better at launching those will be good. I think sometimes you need to just kind of confirm what they're doing, unfortunately. So it's like you cannot, I don't think you can, at least online, I don't think you can uh, with confirm sidestep on a jab easily and actually get that launch. I don't think that's very like feasible. But bigger moves, yes. And I think um, when you're doing stuff like that, it's a bit more of a hard read. And I think it's okay to do a hard read, especially once you've got like a feeling they're going to do that, though. Um, so, for example, in that, that case, they like to jab them down for one. So at that point, you're like, well, I'm just going to assume you will. I'll go for this jet up. Or what's the chances that you actually chose to duck after my Ford 3, for example, right? Like maybe they do, but that's kind of the idea. I've got a June. June likes to scrap in the in the short range, and unfortunately, we're not very good at that. But that's going to be at, against June specifically because we don't know all of her moves. But it's still going to be important to try. That sidestep was good. See, if we had done something better.
Oh man, they got me. They got me, I didn't duck it. But I honestly Whoa, she can she can do it like this cancel? That's weird. That looked like four uh two. Oh my gosh. Got him. Nice. <laughs> oh, Jet Sama, thank you for joining us. I didn't know you played you played this person before? There's that spring, spring kick. Oh, I tried to sidestep. That's all right. These back ones are actually kind of okay because uh, this person's pressing as soon as we get close to them. So that's all right. Oh, really? Just a couple of minute, minutes ago. It's Jet Same. Sorry. Welcome so much to the stream. Nice. We can, uh... Oh, there's that side set. That's a, a stance beginner, so you kind of have to do something to actually uh, interrupt it. I expect a spring kick here. No, they actually tech roll. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, and she goes for a tracking mid. That's pretty, pretty good. Let's remember to stay close. Sure. Wow. Nice. Okay, she got us. That's totally fine. Choles' Garuda. Thank you so much for the follow. That's totally fine. We need to figure out how to scrap and not crumble when we're up close so while it could be tempting to switch to something we know like runaway against a player like this we need to practice against this okay that's all right notice how they press a lot right there Just remember to do the things that we've practiced against someone that likes to mash, and we'll probably be okay, right? What the hell is that? I've never seen the mid version. Wow! Nice. Nice. Orbital's pretty good with uh, pushback like that if they're trying to, like, take their turn back afterwards. Nice. Nice. And there's a spring kick. So, like, be okay with, like, chilling a little bit in the close range. I think that's the part that's so scary. Whoa, she goes under her jab there. Okay. You notice that as soon as I closed the distance and chilled for a little bit, she did that move. So, we kind of need to be okay with like instilling some fear there while also like whoa nice we have to be okay with instilling some fear with that distance without having to press a button because those panic moves do tend to work okay whoa you can do that i tried to do the three no all right good to know that there's an answer to that Nice. Nice. See how she uses that? She uses the um, the pushback of that move and then does a hop kick. I tried to do, uh, to be fair, I tried to do hatchet and the hatchet didn't come out. But it ended up being like a, it ended up being like a, a whiff punish, right? 
which is pretty crazy. Again, she uses the can can with that uh, pushback, and we press a move and we get hit by that. Go ahead and do this. Nice. It's a scrap, but it works, right? Because she did whiff move. Alright, so let's see if we can take this one. Um, you'll notice what I'm trying to do is trying to just like get a, get used to the patterns of what they're doing. So like I said, we're pointing out certain moves that are like, oh, I'm going to push back. I'm going to push you back, and then I'm going to do this hop kick, for example. Okay, does another one. That's fine. Oh, I tried to go for a uh, Ford Free because I thought she was going to do the the uh, Hell Sweep. Okay. Sure. She went for it again. Didn't really work out. Wow, I think I pressed already. Nope. Oh my gosh, and then I got can canned. Nice stuff. Oh, nice. I was trying to look for that move, uh, the jab into the low, but unfortunately, it came out when I wasn't ready for it, and I ended up not blocking it. So she's... So I'm, I'm noticing a lot of uh, hot picks. Oh, it is two hits. Dang it. I thought it was one. Okay. So it is two hits. Wow, this hop kicking is really good. So you'll notice that I try to do a down four two and then try to like evade whatever she was going whatever she's gonna do with a uh, down back three. She instead does that hop kick, right? Not hop kick, can can. And because of that, we got kind of blown up. That's all right. But that probably means uh, looping a down four two is probably where we want to be there. Also, those jabs into lows happen a lot. She has been doing like a hop kick and whatnot after those can cans, so uh, doing a back one could be fine. Also, there's a certain pattern that I'm noticing in that string where they do the sidestep mid first and then they do the high the second time. Oh, wow, beats my one to one again. Those jabs are always coming with the low attached to it. Alright, there's the low. Oh, I tried to go under it. Nice! Nice! Oh, wow. Wrong punish. Nice. Alright, let's do an orbital here. I don't know if it's going to work. No, it doesn't. That's alright. Stay on the ground for a second. Okay. Oh, I didn't hold back. No. This is, um really hard to beat and what I mean by that is it's really hard to keep up with it nice I didn't didn't know orbital in time but it's like sort of like your opponent is already comfortable in that situation so like figuring out how to do moves that are going to interrupt and get out of that is very hard so you'll notice that we kind of we got one out of three we uh we worked really hard for that one 
and we'll just need to keep practicing because unfortunately that's sort of how it is um especially in the case of a june that's essentially doing 50 50s right like knowing how to deal with that is important and knowing how to interrupt that stuff is important so we did touch on a few things that were pretty cool though like essentially there are certain moves that will create uh pushback and then what they're doing is they're placing that hop kick in a way that ends up uh, with punishing our attempts to challenge um so i'll be Oh, they're playing uh so that's what we're gonna keep practicing so this shall you is actually pretty uh whoa pretty measured i hate that there's two of those okay but we'll keep working on this so do that down okay she pressed a uh, a 10 frame punish not punish challenge nice jobs so you'll notice see how like the few times i do try to orbital we do get jab uh, floated a lot because we're at that range where like random moves that are quick enough will float the orbital so you kind of need to be measured when you do it you have to be like it's like a hard read good punish did that move again is that a mid two Oh, it just has no range. Okay. That sidestep was really good, but we didn't get the punish there, which is unfortunate. We're gonna keep working on this because you seem kind of need to like sidestep with that intention of getting a whiff punish. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it. Nice. All right, all right. Let's see. Nice low grade. All right. Don't be afraid to come in. Nice low grade. I'm okay if they show us that. This is like back to our down th down back three fundamentals where it's like we don't mind if they show us a low carry there. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that one before. Um, we will eventually uh, lab shall you. Nice stuff. And we are kind of, um, what's the word? Freezing up a little bit, which is unfortunate. But, so I think I'm trying to refine that like courage to like, Refinding, like rediscovering the courage to press back will be important here. Nice down. See how that down one, not a down one, but like a crouching jab caught our, uh, caught our orbital. That's what I mean. Nice. I wonder if, um, I wonder if, uh, Ma kick beats that option select. Oh my gosh. Let's also fix our um, wake up a little bit because we don't want to like expose ourselves to that as much. Oh, what is that hit? Nice. Okay. Notice how this Shaoyi does want to play that in that out. Like that's all right right that's okay which is why we need to switch to more down fours while we're approaching to like kind of stress them out for doing that and it's okay if they low parry like i said we don't care about that good stuff they were uh, really good at catching those wake ups i guess man that's kind of scary Oh, it still works. Okay. Wow. Wow, nice duck. Nice. Well, very, 
Very good. They, um... I actually don't think we probably would have... We would have had a hard time playing the long range against them as well. But I do think that, as you can kind of tell, a lot of what we ended up doing was just lots of orbitals, which ended up not working, right? So learning how to... The thing that was working was the down back threes and the down fours. So down back threeing, but le learning how to stop will be important when we're doing those because that was... That was what was exposing us, I guess, to counterplay was like, eventually we just do three or four in a row in the low period, right? But being able to do like two or three and stopping and then kind of like from there, using that stuttered offense in the close range will help. So we'll practice that for next time. Cholzee's Garuda. Um, sort of new to Brian, just had Tenryu. Browsing stream, saw me playing Brian. Hey, yeah, welcome to the stream. Hopefully we learned something together today. Today we are practicing playing up close. This is not something that Brian really uh, excels at. But it's something that can be, still be done well in the character and something that we need to learn. So. Alright, we got a Kazuya. Kazuya, you want to sidestep to the left up close? Okay. So they did it. We did it down four and they immediately electric us. So that's fine. What happens here? Nothing. How about here? A jab. Okay. That's alright. This person presses a lot, so we're immediately uh, incentivized to consider doing these while standing threes. Nice. Uh, so he does a a low into a tracking move, and that is uh, punishable. So cool. <clears throat> Again, they are pressing after these down back threes, so we're going to use that to our advantage. Uh oh. I'm going to grab here just to get him back to the wall. Like, that's okay. And they did a tech roll. Nice. For sure, Sholzies. Yeah, this is a re really fun character to play. They're pressing in here, unfortunately, for them. And they press there, too. So, unfortunately, our opponent is uh, mashing into our plus frames, and that is giving us a lot of uh, mileage here. But you'll notice that we're kind of just playing up close. We're sort of, like, playing this game against them. What we could experiment doing is, like, do a jab into a sidestep. Wow, immediately ducks and tries and hard uh, twin pistons. That's fine. Sure. Okay. Alright. That's good for us. Oh no! Nice. And just knowing how to take our turn back will be important. They are still trying to uh, fight back to a degree. That's alright. Nice. Okay. So, I do think that keeping up the pressure of lows, if needed, is going to be important. Okay. Again, remember how I said, like, we need to be cognizant of, uh... I was going to say, there's that move. They do not press after that. Oh, wow. Punch parry? Interesting. Another one? Let's do that jab. Bad punish from them. That's all right. Wow, 
Wow, that's faster. Right, because it's back turn. I'm gonna stay on the ground for a second so I can get away. Okay. They're using these uh, hell soups because we started blocking, right? I thought he was gonna heat dash. That's why I didn't go for the punch there. Nice. They're starting. They're starting to fight back a little bit. I think that's all right. See, like, getting used to what I'm trying to do in my head is I'm trying to do a few things. First of all, I'm trying to mix up what I'm doing. So, it's, unfortunately, I couldn't enunciate it while I was doing it. But the, a few things that I tried to do there. The first one was that he likes to mash out of, after down back three. So, I'm starting to do stuff like Northern Cross because they're no longer mashing with stuff that gets them hit by that. They're hitting faster moves. So, I'm trying to use Northern Cross. The other thing I'm trying to mix in is uh, mids. So just like random mids, like down two. Forward three is probably not fast enough in that scenario, but probably we should have done it a few times. But for example, at the very end, we did this immediately into our down forward one. So it's like trying to use that, like knowing certain moves that can be linked into others is very important. So for example, this into down forward one is good. This into this can be okay. But the reason this is so good is because you're plus eight. It's a whole mix up, right? Um, doing. Uh, for example, down four two into down back three could be good if your opponent is trying to mash with highs, for example. Um, so for, figuring out kind of like what's working and using that to uh, to like chain together a fast in your face offense is going to be what we need to do so that we can kind of control the space a little bit. Side steps can also be good. We're trying to kind of experimenting with that. I'm gonna go with this because I think I have an extra hit on the wall that I did. Oh my gosh. That was a launch punish roll. Alright. Let's do a jab and sidestep. Okay, sidestep's not good against the power crush though. Wow, that's crazy. Nice. I went I went to the right and I got caught by it. It will catch you if you're going to the right most of the time. Nice mid. Alright, good stuff. Going pretty hard there. That's alright. Okay. They like to open up with that, so we are putting in more orbitals under our game plan. And they like to use that move as well. Interesting. All of that stuff is launch punishable, I believe. Wow, that was really creepy. Whoa, he ducked under it. Good stuff. Nice stuff. Down back three is not plus four. It's actually minus one, but because it is plus four on counter hit, but because it's uh, crouching, you end up getting access to while standing three, which is uh, uh, 12 frames fast. And it, that ends up being really good. Let me try and get this combo. That ends up being really good because, because uh, it frame traps against all mids. Yeah, so essentially at minus one, most mids are gonna be 13 frames. So if you do the math, that means that um, that means that while standing three, while standing three is going to trade with most of those mids, even if you're minus one. Just chill here. Whoops, that's all right. And this is what I mean, like being okay with just like 
doing a move and then chilling is also fine, especially when your opponent is like pressing as much as this player is. Like that's okay to do as well, right? You used to play Eliza and Lily in seven. Those are good characters, especially Eliza was really good at then. All right, they're still pretty uh, patient with that. That's all right. How many? One, three of them, and then they did a high. So that's good to know. Okay. Wow, I tried to duck, but then I pressed my uh, wall standing one. Okay. We are alive. The question is what they choose to use next. Try to use a low. I tried to low parry, but uh, it was a slow low, so all good. Fight. That would also hit grounded, I believe. Okay, sidestep into power crush is wild to me, but that's okay. Okay, they're starting to duck there. Oops. Oh no! <laughs> that sucks. Oh, nice. Wow, we got him. Double KO! Dang it. Missed the uh, bound there, so we ended up losing the combo. That's alright. Okay. So you'll notice that they're switching to a little bit of this, like, kind of keep out style. I don't know why also they're por forcing the lasers since since we kind of showed them. We kind of showed them that we know how to sidestep around that. Good punish. Nice. Didn't get the full infinite, but that's alright. Alright, now they're power crushing. That's fine. That's good. Ooh, it sidesteps so. Nice. They're mixing things up a bit. Kind of chilling a little bit. We don't want to accidentally move to the right and get hit by something. So we're going to go to the left when we can. Just chilling after this is probably fine, given that they're kind of antsy around it. Oh, nice. Good, good health sweep. So I believe this is game two if that goes to them. So you'll notice, though, like, I'm trying not to be phased by things not working, right? Because in the sense, like, we are trying to figure out what works. So don't be discouraged that the whole strategy doesn't work just because we couldn't find a move that works well for it, right? Wow, that's crazy. I think that move is launch punishable, so it's kind of like a crazy move to throw out. I'm just going to throw him towards the wall here. Wow, that beat us out, too. That's too bad. Nice. That wall running kick they do like. Um, I think I can sidewalk it to the left, is what it looks like. They're feeling themselves. They're kind of just letting stuff rip now. That's all right. Okay. Wow, I tried to duck an electric. Okay. I should probably pay more attention to my opponent's, opponent's heat in that situation. Oh, and we're dead. Nice. Thank you so much, Cus Cupcakes for Life. Good punish. They're not, uh, they they do play Brian. Keep that in mind. And because of that, they're not uh, finishing, uh, they're not trying to punish the wall standing threes by themselves. Oh my gosh, that caught my, uh, I think I, what did I do? I did like a, nice. I think I did a uh, back sway there and that caught me. That's, that's too bad. Okay. Okay. We're 
playing this game now. Kind of chilling a bit, but we need to like get a, get in their face a little bit. Notice how we're kind of like chilling, right? We'll do that down back three. They'll press the move and we'll punish it. Then we'll do another down back three. They'll press the move and they'll punish it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Just do that hatchet. I don't care if they block it. We're trying to get away from them here. Oh, nice stuff. Okay. That's a good uh, mix-up. Whoa, it picks us up again? Oh my gosh, you got me. Good stuff. I actually was like pretty uh, content to just let them do their thing there, but that's a pretty good last round adaptation. Brysolation, good, how are you? We are trying our very best to learn how to play up close right now. Playing up close is kind of scary, but also just like getting comfortable with the ranges and getting desensitized to the hits is important. Because just like you need to be no longer afraid of people throwing um, downtown like attack moves, like Brian's best one I can give you an example of is like this, not that move. Like that's maybe one, but like, like this or something, you know, a lot of characters that will come flying in to like start the offense. Just like you need to, uh, just like you need to get rid of your fear of that because you can just walk around it. Getting rid of your fear of playing up close is also important. So, good stuff. And good games to that double gen, by the way. Ready for the next battle. Tajan Upper. All these Brian mains playing against me with other characters. What is going on? Are we getting sniped? <laughs> Alright. Paul's pretty scary to play against. The main thing that I want to say for up close with Paul is that you don't want to sidestep too much because he's got a lot of really strong, uh, he's got a lot of really strong tra tracking moves. And because of that, you can get really in trouble for trying to like move around him. Same is not true for uh, him moving around you. You need to be able to track whatever he's doing. Slippery. They knew that was coming. That's all right. Oh no! Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. But getting used to that distance is fine, right? And this Paul is going to use that down for two to try and keep us honest as well. They're trying to get away from us. If you notice. Nice down for two though. I tried to down back three again. That's probably not really wise because that's a, uh, that's a, what's the word? A frame trap because it's plus three. Good stuff. is very good um now this paul is starting to use some more move around to the side and do a down for two. Oh my gosh she did it after that too that's crazy good stuff okay did a side step and got clipped nice nice i do think that's minus 12 i don't think paul's got a real punish on that unfortunately so we uh press I'm gonna do one plus two, but I think he's doing a different one. I don't know what that break is, but I don't think, I thought that was one plus two, it's not apparently. Oh, I thought I ducked in time, nice. Sure, sure.
obviously know our frames well, so we're going to have to be, like, intelligent with how we choose to link things. But I do think that, in addition to that, they are challenging. So, switching to these... Switching to moves that are going to frame trap are probably important to do. Good punish. And kind of having the idea that if he's going to down forward one, there's a high extension there. So we need to be thinking about that, right? Oh, no. What? That move sucks. That move must suck. <laughs> Every time I think this is the time. All right. And remember, if he does that to you at the wall, you can uh, jet up for it. And you have plenty of time to think about it. Okay. Good old delay there. Okay. They are staying on the ground here, so we're going to... Oh, they're not anymore. Nice. Keeping them at the wall there is fine. Even doing it some distance at the wall is fine because there's not really any point to be being so close at the wall. Nice. See how we're kind of like building these really strong sequences in that close range? That's unfortunate. That's all right. Oh, I tried to do a, I tried to do a jet up or uh, whip punish, but he's already low profile by then. Let's just go ahead and put him back to the wall. Do a down four here. Nice. That's not good. Oh, I thought I broke it. Dang it. I think I was a little bit slow, though. I felt myself, like, go, is it two? No, it's one. You can interrupt that. I'm just so afraid of the other extensions, but they haven't shown it to us. Keep following him here. Nice. And just like, remember how I said we got to get used to, like, if our opponent is freezing up, start doing kind of like a faster series of uh, down twos, down forward ones, you know, all of that stuff. Trying to just like get them to duck or get them to show us something, right? The thing that's hard is like you have to be able to notice when the opponent has like slowed down. Right? That's going to take some time. All right? Nice. They are switched to more offense. That's actually good. Nice. All right. Stay on the ground as soon as we did one. That's good. Well, I've already uh, committed to the 1 plus 2. I think we have to do... Uh, I don't know what the... Nice. I'm going to go for this and just like... Whoa! That's not good. Okay. Nice sidestep then. I, I was going to go for that to see if I could just uh, take my turn back for one more turn. But that's nice. Chilling here is fine. See that how they're pressing now? They've switched to the other uh, parts of that string. That's fine. Sure. Nice. One, two, one, two is really good. Good stuff. So. Got a little bit lucky there. Nice. Get to do another one. Nice low parry. Sure. Notice how they're staying in kind of up on top of us, right? So we need to remember 
that it's scary to stand there and we can block. See how he did the quarter circle? He immediately went for that uh, frame trap. And we went for... Ooh, nice. We went for that 4-3 and we happened to catch him, right? Because they were like, oh no, it didn't work. All right, let's make sure this doesn't lose. Wow, that was really scary. Did you see one of those hit smiths? Yeah. Hey, Levi, how's it going? Let's give him some space on this one. Okay. Wow. Nice. Unfortunately, that missed, but that's all right. It, it'll happen. Okay. Nice. See how they're... We're kind of switching the pacing a little bit to keep out. Oh my gosh, we got him. But yeah, like we were switching the pacing there just a little bit at the end, so we ended up getting the upper hand. But like, notice how like the way that we ended up winning in some of those situations was that we were okay to just stand, right? We were okay to stand here and not press. That's the thing. Like, at what's what's the what's the worst they're gonna do to you? They're gonna health sweep you, right? The worst they're gonna do to you is they're help, gonna health sweep you, and you're just gonna have to accept that. It's it sucks, but like at the same time, they can only do it so many times before you start getting that. That feeling, you know what I mean? This is a very real username from this Hurong. <laughs> Buddy. Okay. This is actually a good situation where we're going to be really struggling to play at close range against this Hurong, but if you can get the right duck there. While standing three will beat so much stuff from them. Notice how they really want to get in our face. Okay. And what they're doing there, they're doing this jumping kick that plus frames us, and then they're immediately following it with a mid-high. So we'll, we see that. We see that, and we're gonna we're gonna adjust, right? All right, they're running away. You see that? Wow, they're going for that version. Okay. Okay. Nice. Notice how they are trying to keep us from coming in and we don't have to bum rush in. Like we have to we can take our time coming in. Like that's okay. Like, that's okay. It's just once we're in, we need to practice. That was unfortunate. And see, getting used to the side steps is pretty good. We actually have a pretty good plan whenever we're at the wall with them. And we could just uh, jet up her afterwards if we use those same sensibilities in the, uh, in the open range as well. Nice. Staying on the ground here, I assume? Nope. That was sick. What a round. But yeah, see, just like focusing on what's happening... And, like, just figuring out, like, where's my window when we're defending is going to be good. And just not being, not even focusing on getting away. Just being like, I can beat you here. There's that move I told you about earlier. That's okay. Okay. I did that duck because he liked to do the hell sweep. I was not expecting him... I was not expecting him to go... Oh, there's the mid now. Okay. Okay. We might lose, but that's alright. Ooh, it picked us up. Cool. 
That's tough. We might lose, but that's alright. This is actually kind of wild going for that uh, back one. Nice. They're trying to use that move as keep out. We haven't punished it a single time, so I, I don't blame them. I need to practice that a bit more. No! No! <laughs> oh, we suck. Sidewall, too. Oh, wait. I thought I was uh, ducking that, but it ended up just launching me completely. Notice, notice, notice how they're really trying to get in there. That, uh, while standing one was unfortunate. That's okay. Nice. And notice how when we get up close like that, they went for that low parry and they failed. Nice, we got that one. That's good. Nice. See? We're coming back. You could never leave I? No, don't get tilted. It's a game. You're trying to get better. Have you ever, like, studied and been like, I'm not getting this? Would you rage because you didn't understand your math homework? Nice. Yeah, probably shouldn't have gone for that there, but it's okay. Oh, too bad. And they got back up. Too bad. Dang. You get, you'd rage at your math homework if you're not getting it and like tilt it up, uh, rip it up and throw it away? Nah. Nah, you keep banging your head against that until you learn it. You got no other choice. What are you going to do? Tell the professor I quit? Death of the meme. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the, welcome to the family. But notice how, yeah, we're trying to like get used to being up close, right? And just like, you know? Yeah, you're not going to go up and be like, nerf differential equations. Freaking Get ready for the busted day. patch. MF Doom. I feel like we've played before. I was going to say on a different character, but it looks like they're a Miyoshi main. Inertial learning. I don't know what that means, but I kind of have a, an image in my head. Let's not be afraid. See, this, this Yoshi's going to do some crazy stuff. That's okay. What do you do? Oh, they press that. I see. They're trying to... You'll notice that this... This is actually a pretty interesting matchup because they're trying to mentally break us, typically. Alright, just give us some space here. Nice. See, they're afraid. Nice. Just chilling, right? Notice how, like, we're sort of... Remember when we would have so much, uh so much um success with with our down four down fours and it was because we're like there's nothing you can do to scare me right well, we have to figure out how to do that in the close range as well and remember that we can play slower nice sure okay too bad this is okay. Whoa, they went towards us. Nice stuff. Okay. This is fine. I'm kind of just chilling. Nice, Loberry. That's all right. I want to see them do it. I want to see them do it. Notice how we're just chilling. Nice. And then we do two down four twos, and we worked. Hey, maybe did. Holy crap. Thank you so much for the five tier one sub gifts, dude. Thank you so much. How's the hatchet biz? It's doing okay. We're learning how to not be as afraid playing up close, especially after getting um, absolutely blown up by Toasty last stream. Nice. Oh, I might have messed up that combo. Nope, we're okay. Interesting that they chose to go for that. I knew the flash was coming, but I was just like, show it to me. What the heck? Nice. Sure, sure, sure. You got humbled by Incog? That sounds pretty good, too. 
I mean, I love getting beat by players. Like, Toasty, I was so excited to lose the Nigger. And I mean that genuinely in the sense that... I mean that in the sense that, like, uh, I want to learn something, right? And if I get beaten in the mirror, finally, like, and I know there are people that can beat me in the mirror, I just haven't played against them much. And learning that is so awesome, because now you're like, wow, there's so much more I can do in this game now. I don't know why I'm running so far away when we're trying to practice being up close. What do you do here? Presses in mid interesting but it's for some reason i'm gonna go for this and just like kind of chill a bit wow nice i said chill i did a mock kick and i died no i get what you mean maybe div for sure nice low parry notice how they're still looking for it that's all right i totally don't mind that wow nice Oh, I didn't break it. That's all right. That's okay. Ooh, we got something. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow. This guy's got some, uh, some bravery. And I tried to... Oh, they went for the stab. Interesting. I thought they were going for the uh, spin. I was trying to spring kick just to get away, but that's all right. Yeah, that's true. I think at the same time, though, you have to remember that that's still in your back pocket, because as soon as they start disrespecting going straight to layer 2, you just play level 1 Brian, it's going to beat it. You know? Like, don't be afraid. Wait, I thought that's punish. This person always presses after that. There's a side step. I think doing it immediately after, though, will elicit a different reaction from most players because they're like, my alarm bells are coming off, right? So you en end up not doing what you normally do there. That could be my... my incorrect assumption, though. He's trying to get some information. That's fine. No! Just gonna chill here and do the old down for two twice in a row again. Ooh, close. That's all right. Yes, down two can work very well, but um. You just have to, like, know when to use it. I think it works really well, like, in sparing usage, sort of. Where you're like, I know you're going to do some, some crazy stuff, so I'll go for it. Dang, I thought that was a uh, launch punishable. I guess it's not. Saved it. The back turn was weird. Round three. Fight. I think that's an interesting idea. Um, okay, nice. Oh, wow. He just ran up and did it. That's alright. That doesn't look like we can... That doesn't look like we can break the throw, but I'm not actually sure. This is good. Let's go for it. Sure. Oh, you got me. Nice. That was a new string. But yeah, you could try it. If they're going for immediate timing, though, don't bother. It's kind of what I'm trying to say. Nice. So they pressed after the spin, which means we can probably 4-3 them, is my guess. Oh, I tried to sidestep. Nice. Well timed. Oh, 
we messed it up. I'm okay with this. Wow, that's crazy. Nice. Nice. Sidesteps. So there's you're noticing that instead of going for the um instead of going for the flash there, which is sort of what we're trying to bait out, they're going for that sidestep a lot, right? I don't know if this will continue in, la in the last round, because, you know, you never know. Nice. I don't know if it will continue into this last round, but it's something to keep in mind that that's what they were doing. No, they backed up, see? How about here? There's the side step. So, okay. Weirdly enough, after the back one hits, they went for the flash. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. gonna do this wow it worked okay oh for sure maybe div i mean like we are not trying we're never trying to disparage our opponent we are trying to basically say this is what they're presenting to us and these are the answers that we can do this is how they're adapting to us these are the answers we can do never think of that as a wow look at how bot like this opponent is that's not how i mean it i mean it just like every move has a counter and you're kind of like playing rock, paper, scissors, right? So it's like, oh, wow, they've thrown 50% rocks. Let's use paper, you know? That's kind of it. It's not like you're an idiot for using rock. Especially if it's working. Nice stuff. Yeah, he's respecting a lot of stuff. And I think that's partially because we are trying... That time was a delayed, um... What's the word? Delayed challenge. Oh, wow. Grab. That doesn't always work because they can duck under it like that. Wait, I can't... Can we not launch that anymore? Or am I just slow? Alright. Get that sidestep that they're doing. And we got him. Nice. It's only 4-3? It's only minus 12? That used to be launch. They're still doing that move. I need to find a way to blow it up. Honestly, if we just hard read it, maybe that's good enough. Like, we see the sidestep and we go for it. I do think they're trying to find the time to do their reversal, though. Oops. That's fine. Nice. Woo! Moose Alany is going pretty well. We're trying to practice how to play close to our opponent. It is hard. But that's okay. There's their deal again. They only do it out of sidestep. Maybe because it's a sidestep move? I'm not 100% sure about that. Oh, I tried to orbital. Unfortunate. I know they do that a lot, but I'm not really ready to commit to it yet. Oh, they went for that! That's really smart. Okay, you got that round. I was trying to, um, I was trying to challenge because they weren't flashing there. So I tried to catch him with something, but actually doing Power Crush is quite sick. Oh, this is okay. That's good for us. I'm just going to go for that hatchet. Well, lucky that we had the wrong read, but we executed wrong. Oh, nice. I thought that goes through those, but I guess not if they can hit you first. Woo! No! Oh, I tried to orbital and I'm dead! Nice stuff! Alright. Should've done for the wall. Should've gone for the uh, low parry. Good stuff. Alright. Let's read some chat while this happens. Uh... 
Kusok. Oh, you mean um, Gatling Rush, right? Yes, I can cheat you. Um, just not me has learned to play range one Brian from playing Raven and Miguel. That kind of makes sense. I don't think Brian's got the same tools as Raven, but that makes sense. Um, all right, yeah, let me teach you, Kusok, how to do this. This is, uh, this is pretty sick, so pretty cool stuff. So, got to set it up correctly. So, we got to go to the wall. And is she... Yes, we can hit her. So, cool. So, the way to hit... So, normally, you'd have to, like, just go 1-2, uh, 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, until eventually you have to hit uh, 4 to your knee, right? A lot of people struggle with that because... It's kind of hard to do an ever-increasing speed of 1-2-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's how it was in the old games. So what you can do in this game, because of the buffer system, is you can actually just press... So you do up, back, 1 plus 2 to start it, right? So you see that? And then after that, all you do is you press 1 plus 2 plus 4. Just fast. you got to practice... Just get used to what the rhythm needs to be. But essentially, you just press 1 plus 2 plus 4 after the first, uh, after the first 1 plus 2, and it will work. So check this out. That's all you have to do. Um, let's look at my input history again. And I'm not binding it, so you'll see that it's kind of a messy input too. It's not even like some super clean input, but that's all I'm doing, Kusok. So, and then, so now you end up with these cool combos like this. Oh, I sucked the game. Let me try it again. Oh my gosh, I suck. It's not going to happen because I cursed it. I will do it, I promise. There we go. There we go. See? It's uh, quite good. So, <laughs> you do have to do an up back. So, that's like the part that's kind of hard. And you don't really need to be pressing four either. But the point being that uh, the four can be pressed and it doesn't matter. So, you might as well do it so that the four comes out at the right time. So, yeah. Let's get back into it. I think I have a. I think Just Not Me is giving me some tips. Um, so, one of the most important things to learn is to use low minus moves on block. Moves that aren't more than minus five on block. This allows Brian to play as a poking character and still leaves him free to move around safely. So, using down back three and down four, right? Okay. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Moves like standing three, four. Oh, you're talking about mid. Uh, low minus moves, as in. Not very minus moves, right? Not not mid moves. Okay. Not low moves. Okay. Like, standing three, four, three, down two. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, Alright, Leroy's going to be pretty scary to beat. That's a mid, and it's like a minus 12, I want to say. What's this guy doing? Are they here? Bro. We can't just... I know it's... Oh, it's not honorable or what, whatever, but you can't just, like, AFK in the middle of the match and expect me to stop. So, we're gonna... Nice punish. Nice. Bro had to open the door. Yeah, that's probably true, but at the end of the day, if I AFK in the middle, you can attack me. I'll give you beginning of the round, even if it's like second round, but that's all I'll give. Nice, I pressed on that plus. Let's try and dial in a bit. Oh, I, did. I broke two. Nice. So getting in there, they're trying to run away, see that? So we kind of need to elicit some of this like reaction here because we can't just bum rush running in if that's what we're trying to practice. We have to fi practice getting in uh, safely as well. Wow. Interesting. Okay. This is fine. We're kind of getting used to this. We haven't played against a lot of Re Leroy's. Don't worry. Alright, so you'll notice what they do, right? Is we do this down four, and like a panic move comes out. So we need to kind of like figure out how to like get around that. And figure out how to walk around some of this stuff. That's fine. Wow, that's a low. I always forget he's got a low cane now. 
and we're dead. Okay, good stuff. Focusing a lot ends up losing to throw throws if we're not thinking about it, and that's all fine. Like, let's keep let's keep working on this. But the idea is that you'll notice that the Leroy is playing keep out, right? They're trying to keep us out, and every time we do that down four, they do something. Really, at the end of the day, it's okay to not like force getting in. And now they move in. So that's fine. And now we're going to try and get in there, right? Okay. That's all right. Caught our movements there. That's all right. Looks like that... Looks like that might be a pretty good... At catching our side steps to the right. Just doing that to get him off of us and trying to see if they'll do anything there. Oh, wow. I tried to down one. It misses the first hit and then whiff punishes us with the second hit. That's crazy. That's unfortunate. Thanks, Div. Alright. Is that a high or a mid? I thought it was a safe high, but then I doubted myself when I saw the animation. Should have downed 2 one That's alright. We don't have a read of what they're going to do here, so that's what they're doing. Alright, that's fine. We can react to that one at least. Maybe they're going to do something? Yeah, they were. Two hits. Alright. Can you not low pair that? Maybe I'm slow. Okay. I wonder if... Homeboy is trying to... Trying to style on us. I think it was a mistake, but it could also be them trying to, like, deal mental damage. I'm not really sure. That, um, that Rage Art should have been predictable by us. Maybe it is a high. We'll go ahead and break the floor here. Might as well take it. Let's just do this at the end. This person is starting to play very aggressively. Let's keep that in mind. So let's see. I'm gonna do an orbital here, I don't know. I just got this feeling. Well, he did press something, but I was wrong. That works. Let's do this and do this. I think that beats it. Yeah, it's a punch parry. Wow, I didn't break that, that sucks. I pressed one, but I was slow. But that's a normal throw, so it's unfortunate. Because we have a longer window, should be. Just go ahead and burn it here. I want to get some of that, uh... Some of that, uh... Momentum going. We're gonna run for a little bit. Okay. Oh, I didn't jump... Did a low grade in time. Good stuff. Good stuff. The 421 Snake Eyes string works wonders. Yeah, I need to use it more. I haven't... I'll do that in a future one, because I honestly feel like I need to stress that... Stress test that one a little bit more. The fact that it actually just straight up does that is kind of crazy, though. Huh. I can feel the need for another right side session tomorrow, so we will do that. Battle. We got another Dragon off. I think we've played them before. It might be dirty, but they assume it's super plus. Nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about that. Just go ahead and do it. What are we playing a slideshow today? Oh, it looks like it's caught up. Okay. Okay. 
They want to get in. That's all right. I want to get in too. Wait a minute. That was not real, was it? know that was an I-12 punish. Alright, it's a timing thing, right? We'll figure it out. And just remember, we're scrapping with these lows. We're trying to just, like, stress them out a little bit. Do a jab here. Do a down back three. He's gonna punch that? Okay. They've given us a gift. Why do I suck? And then we just hit him with some mids. So it's like remembering that we can play that close range is important. You struggle against drag cupcakes. I think part of it is knowing how to duck and launch his strings. I mean that quite honestly, like quite literally. Being able to duck and launch the common strings they do is very helpful. Um, in addition to that, the other one to be able to do is uh, play the 50-50 after his double low. Because, because if you sidestep, you can sidestep the axe kick and you can duck the, uh, duck the sweep, right? Not the sweep, the slide. And because of that... And because of that, if you can actually play that 50-50, um, now he's risking getting launched in both scenarios. Okay. Whoops, that was supposed to be a quarter circle back one. Okay, can I block in time? No. Oh yeah, if we miss his, uh, if he misses while standing punishment, it's like a, it's like a, the 12 frame we talked about, it's like a jab into a kick, into a side kick, that's a minus 14 at least. Okay, good stuff. Learning to forward three uh, as our, like, panic move is also very good. Oh wow, okay. Okay, went for it. I need to remember to just get that side step jet upper as a read if I need to, because otherwise it will like miss. I went for the down one there because I was like, he could just not finish it and I want to be able to do something. Oh, it was minus 15. <laughs> that's interesting. No, that's not good. That's fine. You'll notice they're starting down to a lot. I'm kind of trying to ignore it to a degree. And the reason I say that is because it's not that scary of a move. And we will eventually get him for it, but for it's not right now. All right, I think we got him from this. Nice. Thanks, just not me. It wasn't really a punish, that was a read though. We were trying, we we're like, I think he's gonna do something here. And so I'm going to get him, right? And I think that's part of it. It's just like knowing how to sidestep Jet Upper when you feel like they're going to do something, I think it's going to help us a lot. Okay. You'll notice that they're starting to play like a little bit. The word I would use is like KG. They're trying to like get in on us. Okay. And that's minus two, so we can just kind of, like, get in there. See, like, kind of, like, mixing together these, like, mids and lows in the late game. But even in the middle could be very good. 
Yes, you whiffed the jab. So that, um, just not me. It was a punish, but it wasn't on... It wasn't a visual whiff confirmed because you don't have the time to do that. Maybe I can, uh... Maybe I can illustrate what I'm saying to you. So, like... Uh... Oh no, I don't want to record. Go back. Go back. Exit without recording. Give me the uh, punishment list. I just want job. So this... If you try to see... If you try to like... Visually wait for it to happen... You won't work. But instead, you have to just do it. You just have to do it as fast as you can with the intention of beating it. It's a hard read. So yeah, anyway. I realize I probably over-explained it, so I'm apolog apologies if that was pedantic. Now, it's not a very easy uh, input to do that because you're doing you're doing a tap and then immediately going back to, in to neutral and trying to do that. So practice this movement in training mode so that you can reliably do it in a real match. But it's pretty good. And I think that's kind of like an interesting idea, right? You'll do some demotion matches? Good luck, maybe, Div. Thank you again for the subs. Yes, Cupcakes is right. It's a hard, we hard read indeed. But the nice thing is, like, you can do this, and you can maybe confirm it, right? And then you can do it down back three. So if you're trying to scout out the opponent, you don't have to just be like, what do I do here? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess I'll jut upright or something. Like, yeah, you can honestly, you can do this. You can probably do, um, this, and be like, oh, if you're really, really fast, you can probably do a jab. But, yeah, you probably can do a jab if you're really ready for it. But uh, other than that, you can just do a down back three, you know? Because you're plus enough to get that. And sometimes it gets a, pu it gets a punish. So just learning how to do that and work, around, work your way around the opponent is what we're trying to do. Not because Brian is good at it, but because if we are better at, but if we get good at it, now we can outplay people. And then, so if we find ourselves in those situations where they... Ex they excel in the close range we can survive and maybe even come out on top long enough to get away again and go back to playing this game again no opponents today no more opponents i mean i guess we'll do this one We got a Reina. A lot of Reina is knowing what her strings do and knowing how to duck under them and stuff like that. Knowing how to make that read is going to be important. But in general, we're also going to just try and pay attention to how they're playing. Notice how she did the jab both times there. Lots of jabs, actually. So we're going to keep that in mind. And we're going to start... Abusing it. Those jabs are not going to work against us. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but we'll take it. More jabs. Oops. That's fine. Just chilling. Notice how she's really pressing hard to get in. Like, we're kind of happy with this, right? Alright. Nice. And remember, we can sometimes do down 4 2 into down 4 2, especially if they're gonna press, you know? Okay, that's too bad. We tried to do our uh, extension. Okay. Oh, friend, don't do this to me. Good, 
good duck. That was a really good duck. And they came in when we had that. That's fine. They are mashing a lot, but that's okay. But you'll notice that, like, we're okay with that mash. And it's just a jab. So we're just thinking to ourselves, like, how do we get around this? We're just going to do a down back three. We're going to do a down back three. We're going to do a down four, four. You know, do a northern cross. Oops. Okay, she finished it. That's all right. Okay, that's fine too. I'm ducking. I'm looking for a health soup that doesn't exist. That's all right. Oops, bad uh, fisherman. That's all right. Good punish. Oh, nice. Good stuff. That was actually pretty interesting. They did one, 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 and then a low. What's with the duck here after that? Because of the jet uppers that they read? What's up, no pain? Let's not disparage the player, though. Like, they're trying, right? You'll notice that they're, they're slowing down, right? Okay. Did not get our sides up there. Oh, I tried to press 3 plus 4 and interrupt instead of just going for it. That's fine. Yeah, I had a feeling the uh, health soup was coming there. Nice. And got him with something weird. Cool. Snake edge the jab. Trust. <laughs> you can sidestep it. What is with these weird things happening in the middle? Whoa! Game! And just like, see, we're, we're trying to just like stay up close. We're using moves. We're trying to like get under the jab that they like to do. And just showing them a good time, right? They're ducking a lot here. And that's fine. Nice. We got him. Ooh, you got a Paul main to try Brian No Pain? Thank you so much. Welcome them to the family. Brian's fun. Of course he's going to be hooked. Brian and Paul are very similar. They're both very fun to play. And you sort of like, they kind of like cover each other's weakness in a weird way. So you're kind of like, oh my gosh, they're 50. When I play Fallout, Paul, I'm like, oh my god, his 50 50s this good. And then Paul's probably like, oh my god, Brian's counter hit game and range is this good. <laughs> like it's, they're kind of like two sides of the same character for sure. <laughs> Get ready for the yeah next welcome to the hey speak of the man himself it's a paul all right we talked about this before playing up close against a paul is hard we're gonna try our best right try our very best and see how we do we're going to just chill here do a four three see what he does he does a side step into a down four two oh and does it again after our um, hatchet. So, we already have a sort of tendency, right? That's actually fine. There it is again, and we get this move now. Just chilling. The other thing is we don't have to commit to it every time, right? Wow, that's crazy. Gotcha. Nice. They are already uh, sidestepping, so that's good to know. Okay. Okay, we didn't get it. That's alright. He might have done it. Okay, I was going to say he might have done a down for two there, but they actually did nothing after it, which was kind of interesting. I like that. Uh, I hate when Paul gets this wall combo. It's actually really scary. Look at that nonsense. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna do this in sidestep. Oh, we got him. Nice. Woohoo! He could have killed there too, man. They're probably tilted. Ooh, not the right move we wanted, but this one is what we wanted. There's that sidestep they like. There it is. And got him. See? Now we point it out. Now we let him know. Because I don't want them to figure out what works against us. Also, keep in mind that if you're doing more of a hard read on the sidestep, I would highly recommend uh, Mock Kick because it's so much faster and it has more follow-up. You do more damage to them, right? They might start um, ducking, but that's kind of what we want too, right? You want them to hard duck in that situation and just like stop moving. Good punish. Punish again, or attempt, rather. I'm not really uh, enthused to move sideways here. Because I don't want to get caught by some weird tracking stuff. Alright, does this break the wall? Okay. D we're not, never going to find out. But notice how we're getting comfortable. That's the kind of what I'm trying to like illustrate here. It's like, we're getting really comfortable. Like, man, we are getting so comfortable here. Nice. That's really good, though. Whoa, that was bad. Okay, good stuff. I'm just going to do that and burn it because I want to have it. Wow, this person's nuts. They went for that? How fast is that compared to the real uh, health sweep? Nice. And good duck. And punish. It doesn't interact with the wall? Okay, I was curious. Ooh, interesting idea. Alright, good down for two. You'll notice that that seems to be kind of like their, their move of choice to... Um, their move of choice to get back into the game is to use something big. Okay, that's nice. Oh my gosh, I ducked. I was so afraid. That's not bad. Do a down four here. Do another one and chill. Just pop this heat. Wow. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. It is I-18. So that's actually kind of crazy then. Woo. You'll notice, see, more and more of these uh, panic moves are coming out. So we need to start... Uh, the word I'm looking for is diffusing them. Nice. Nice. See, they're getting upset. And we got them. We got him. See? Pretty good. Easy enough. <laughs> Let's back up. Ooh, I had the right, right idea. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Ooh, why did I do that? Let's do this and chill a bit. I really don't want to, like, expose myself to anything crazy. Well then. They're not letting us do it. We're just kind of chipping away, right? That's all right. Totally fine to just let it let it rip. Ooh. Wow, is this... What's going to happen here? I guess we're going to die? Okay. Maybe. But we're in the air. What happens here? Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wait, what did they do? I think they did um a move on block into the radar, which is actually pretty... Pretty sharp and very uh, innovative, so not bad. Alright. Could have punished that, that's okay. Woo! Okay. 
We're doing a little bit uh, more ambitious uh, moves here. That's all right. And they're playing more aggressively. So this is sort of like where our um, where our neutral is sort of like come to, right? Which is they went from progressively more and more panicky, uh, like uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Progressively more panicky uh, challenges to more like aggressive getting in as well. Nice. But you'll notice that it seems that's not what they want to do. They still want to go back to playing that down 4 2 keep out game. No! I should have done, uh, what should I have done? I'm not sure. Got us, that's all right. Nice duck, oh my gosh. Have we played before? Maybe they just knew. Sure. Wow, they know. Okay, that's fine. I'll stop doing it. Ooh, that was good too. Man, they know when to challenge everything. We might die for this. Yep. Nice. Good games. Good stuff. Taunt into Rage Art would work there. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. I think I probably should have done something like that. It's unfortunate that we dropped it because I was like, oh, it's a sidewall. I don't really know what's going to happen here. But, you know, it's whatever. It'll happen. We will uh, lap that sometime. But, hey, good games. All right, y'all. I think that is about all we've got the time today for. So let's go ahead and wrap things up. Um, so let's do a recap, okay? So today, the main thing that I want to touch on is that we got used to playing up here, right? We were actually feeling pretty comfortable playing up here, and we need to learn how to do better at it. So I think one thing that we can kind of like start implementing into our game next time is what moves can we sidestep after? I think that's the first one that I want to start looking into is like when can we sidestep and what can we do after the sidestep? Um, the second one that I want to practice doing is something that uh, Just Not Me, I believe, who was, who was talking about it earlier? I think it was Just Not Me was talking about is essentially using more of these situations right where you're essentially taking a move that's like minus two to minus four this one maybe not so much but like um but this one's a good example this is actually really good because it's zero and figuring out how we can use those moves to set up a game plan using those moves to set up a game plan because we're not that minus right this move not that smooth this move for example we can sidestep afterwards right we have this option we have this option we have the string extension that's actually very good we have sidestep with them right you could like if they sidestep you can go with them there's a lot we can do so essentially i want to first experiment with sidestepping after moves second experiment after using these types of moves that are rather safe and kind of compiling together the ones that we have um these this one and this one don't quite count because they're mental frame advantages but it's something similar in the sense that what you're trying to do at that point is sidestep them challenging at which point they were going to hit you but like that's the point we're gonna like um but essentially sidestepping offensively and using our uh safer moves and then that's kind of where my head is at initially um i think the next one is maybe just learning how to get in against an opponent that is um playing keep out in a way that's like in a way that's maybe a little bit more a little bit more offensive than what we've been doing with the down four plan um or it's like we kind of we kind of down for them a lot, and that's actually fine, especially if we want to play that range. But figuring out if, like, oh, if you're playing against, like, a Dragonoff or an Alyssa and you want to actually get up close to them, figuring out how you can use this move to get up close while also discouraging them from uh, using those keep-out moves. So I think that's, like, the three things that I want to do. So recapping one more time, it's sidestepping, using moves that are, like, minus two or less on block offensively, and then finally uh, getting in safely in a way that's offensive um dash blocking maybe yeah so 
Yeah, so maybe dash blocking is the thing that we'll use. And that actually plays very well with a down four because dash blocking after a down four, you're still zero and you're basically setting up a situation where you can run in and block what they're doing. Maybe it's minus 13 or more and we can get a punish. So I think that's what our, what's on our plate for the future. But with that being said, y'all, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and do our sign off. If you're coming from YouTube, be sure and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Really helps us grow. We really love seeing the new people show up. And if you ever want to watch it live, it's going to be at twitch.tv slash Von Tybin. That's V O N T I B A N. We stream Brian Saturdays and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Time. So come check us out there. Our makeup streams right now are happening Wednesday evenings, 8 45 p.m. to 10 45 p.m. Central Time. And our labbing sessions, where we try to figure out the cast and get better at them and come up with training regimens, are going to be on Thursday evenings, 8 45 p.m. to 10 45 p.m. Central Time. All this is going to be in your description down below if you didn't catch that and need to check it out one more time, as well as a link to our Discord if you would like to join our community of like minded Brian players and other players that are just trying to get better at the game, raise each other up, and be a, be a community and resource for each other. With that being said, though, I really appreciate each and every one of you's support, both from the live as well as the recordings on YouTube. I hope to see you in the next one, and y'all have y'all safe, safe out there. Happy Brian and taunting. Bye for now.